Hey guys, it's Anti Radio. Okay, so today's topic is good gift and bad gift in Japan. After you watching this video, I think I'm gonna to make two videos to the topic. And if you watch these two videos, you understand holistically what kind of gift you should make、uh, give to your Japanese friends in Japan. Even though you are in、uh, overseas, Ireland, America, it doesn't matter when you give to Japanese people a gift. You understand the idea, okay? What is good and bad, right? Okay. All right, so、uh, before I proceed, let me give you、uh, the email. No, 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 no. Comment I got from my subscriber. Okay, sorry. Okay, it's from Lily. Thank you, Lily. And Lily said, it would be great if I could figure out the appropriate,、okay. appropriate gifts for Japanese friends. It's quite embarrassing that I, Jap- a Japanese girlfriend gave me a complete set of Japanese skincare that she's seen me use during my stay in Tokyo. Why, at least I only gave her homemade pineapple cake. It's nice though, pineapple cake. I live in Indonesia, often cause,、uh, confused as what to give people in Japan. You have almost everything there. Okay, thank you, Lily. All right, I think I can help you. All right. So,、um, today I'm gonna divide two parts, okay? One, business occasion, okay? I think next video will be business, yeah. So, t- this video will be this one, second one, personal occasion, all right? So, when you give、uh, friends a present or your partners, like a boyfriend, girlfriend, or boyfriend's mother, father, that kind of thing, okay? So, then we'll talk about that, all right? So, before I get into the details, Right? Like, what kind of actual content is good or bad? Right? I want to give you one, a、oh, few, fundamental i d e a about the present or gift culture in Japan. Okay? First, you want to make sure that you understand these points and you do checkbox. And then think about the actual content. What, kind of, what is good or bad? Right? So, what is the fundamental idea? It is looks. Right? It, It should, it should、uh, look great. That's it. All right. So, what are the looks? Let's disassemble, all right? So, the looks, the factor would be two factors, right? Two factors. One, bag. And the other one is box. I know, it sounds silly, but bag, box, very important. <laughs> I'm not joking. Before you, before you even think about what is a good present or something, I give you an idea, don't worry, but before you think about this, think about how it looks when you give it to something to people, right? Because present is something for, for the person, right? Then you should care about this because Japanese, they do care about this. Let's go to the detail, right?、Uh, first, bag. Okay, let's say you give me, you give me, Sandy, this marker, right? Because I use this when I'm doing YouTube. So, hey Santi! Hey, what's up, Lily? I got a present. What's up? This one. I was like, ah, すごい Whiteboard marker だ Pilot のやつだありがとう Yeah, I said, wow, it's a board marker. Wow, wow, it's nice. Thank you. Just said that, right? Even though, trust me, most of Japanese they react happy when they receive a box or a present, anything. They don't show you negative things. They always say, Ah, うれしい Hey, マジですごい Trust me, they will do that. Or, ありがとうございます They will do that, trust me. They will do. But deep inside the mind, yeah? You know what they think? They think like this Where's the bag? <laughs> I'm not joking, man, seriously. Of course, when you give me like a dollar pen, I don't expect a heavy, you know, nice bag. However, if you give me a certain thing, you know, certain thing, whatever. I expect a certain bag.、Mm. Not this kind of bag. No. Actually, if you use this, don't use it. Just give it like this. Yeah? Not this bag, neither. Yeah. The answer is paper bag. Okay? Paper bag is very important. You know why? When I receive the pen, okay? Or anything else, right? I don't want to carry around this outside. Again, this country is about high context. 
I talk about this a zillion times in this channel. Let's recap a bit, okay? So in low context culture, like a white country, there, yeah? white people like in America or England, yeah, they're low context. Therefore, wait, they say directly, their mind and the words clarify, explain to you, right? Like I love you, do you love me? They ask, they receive. You know, this is very important. So they explicitly and they are kind of used to to express the feeling, everything. So if you just care about their words, you understand what they think, right? On the other hand, the Japanese are high context. High context culture, they don't really say the words. They the feeling, okay? So they they don't really say I love you, but we know that they love me by other factors such as communication style, the tone of voice, or like a frequency of like contacts, whatever. They feel the love by all things, all right? So Japanese people are really good at feel the sense, the small things. They notice small things, they feel the value from the small thing, okay? So in short, they care small things, okay? So for example, if I receive this, this lion, it's a, it could be stupid the present. If I got this from someone, hey, Santi, what's up, Lily? Present. Oh, Lily, thank you. What is this? It's a lion. Wow, thank you. If I receive this and if I don't have a bag, yeah, what do I look like? I'm like a silly boy outside in public. Again, Japanese people, they care about the public eye, right? So when I walk around, I don't want to walk outside with this because I'm going to stand out. They look at me, you know? Japanese, really, they, they care about this point. Therefore, seriously, prepare the bag. Yeah, prepare the bag. That's very important, okay? But do not, do not prepare this bag. It looks really bad. This neither. What is it? What is good? Paper bag, as I said, paper bag. But this is not good example. But when you bring paper bag, bring something nice, like a designer brand. Ask your Japanese friends. Anyone is fine. Maybe a female, of course. Ask your Japanese friends. Do you collect the paper bag when you buy when you do shopping in nice boutique or like a nice like a designer brand? Most of people say yes. So they don't use it, but they keep paper bag at home, seriously. And then when they give something back or they give something, they use that paper bag as a bag. So it looks nice. So for example, if Lily give me this in the paper bag of, let's say, Lara Florin. Sounds nice, isn't it? Yeah, Lara Florin, okay? And I receive, right? Mm. So I was like, what is that inside? Oh, lion, okay, thank you, I put it back. And I can carry the Lara Florin bag. So when I go back home, I just carry the Lara Florin bag with me. So I don't stand out. Actually, I'm gonna stand out in a nice way. Like, aha, uh -huh, he bought something on Lara Florin. Seriously, they care this. Therefore, I highly recommend, before you think about contents or what to give, whatever, think about bag you have. If you buy something nice, from boot, from like a designer uh, brand, whatever expensive place, they give you bag anyway, so don't worry. But if you don't have one, yeah, prepare something nice. If you can't, at least this give some bag. Yeah, this is really bad though. Yeah, if it's present. But again, it's like a it's like a you know like comparison. Okay, when you give something really expensive, it should be really nice bag. Okay, but like a paper bag. But if you give this to people, just to hand it. You know, it's not present even. Just a gift small gift so you don't need bag all right so please think okay rationally next factor about the fundamental idea okay about looks is box box right box very important so um i want to uh, talk about this in the partner part okay but the box is so important when they receive something sounds like this uh, lily i think she's le she was leaving to Indonesia from Japan I guess and therefore she received a skincare uh, complete set of skincare from her friend okay and she made a pineapple cake and she gave it to her right so it's like a farewell party I guess or say goodbye time I guess that time you give away something right 
So if it's in nice box, if it's in nice formal, nice box, it's far better than uh, something like uh, you just uh, randomly gave, you know. Therefore, I highly recommend that you buy something outside, you know, and then give it to her, okay? So box is better than nothing. That's how I feel. Even this, okay? If it's put in a box, far better. It looks better, all right? So I want you to be aware of these two points. That's a fundamental idea about Japanese gift culture. Looks is very important before the actual content, all right? Let's talk about content. So what kind of... Okay, now we're going to talk about uh, the juicy part, okay? So in a personal occasion, you're going to give to maybe friends or your boyfriend girlfriend, right? Let's talk about the friends. When you give something to your friends, okay, to friends, I highly recommend one, one thing, which is not edible. Something you cannot... Uh, no, edible, sorry. I highly recommend that. Uh, give something you can eat that's very important okay because japan again japanese people they care too much sometimes they, they wait too much they care about everything about everything seriously they're too high con too much high context therefore for example okay if lily give me this the statue of a lion okay and if i don't like this if i'm not a big fan of the lion okay what would i do can i throw away no, because when Lily come to my house, she might, you know, she might look for, where's my lion I gave to you? It could happen, right? Therefore, Japanese always wonder when they receive this kind of thing. Oh, God, shit, what should I do with this? Oh, God, I don't want to put in this in my house, and I have to carry this, I have to keep this. Oh, my God, it's a headache. It's not present anymore. Immediately after they found out, oh, God. Let me give you one example, okay? Example, while I was in the Buffalo, uh, for my bachelor degree and then uh, i was working at the uh, dining hall you know i was helping the dice and like a uh, onion carrot every day okay and then a colleague of mine yeah he's a he's a eugene the african guy he's a good man and then when i said goodbye to him when i before I go back to japan okay he gave me a present you know what he gave me he gave me a sword you know two head of a dragon and then like connected like this okay and if i the pole like that, you can see the sword. And then she, he's like, uh, hey, Santi, here's my present. I was like, what is this? It's a sword, man, sword. I was like, uh, nice sword, man. Thank you. He's like, uh, don't worry. I asked him, why sword? He's like, uh, you're Asian, so I give you sword. I was like, uh, okay, <laughs> thank you. You know, I think it's okay. You know, he did his best. And also, I bring back this to my home, you know? He doesn't have a plan to come to my house, right? To check that if I, if I keep this. But just imagine, if you and friends, you know, very close, he might visit your house to check, do you still have that sword? You know, that's not good, okay? Therefore, many Japanese people, yeah, they prefer edible. Something you can eat. Like so, Lily, you did a good job. Pineapple cake, very good, very good. Therefore, they cannot find out, did you eat or not, right? You can say, oh yeah, I ate, that's a good taste. You could say that even though you throw away, you know what I mean? So um, do not make them feel, do not give them a headache. If you really care about that person, don't give them a headache. If you give something tangible, it could be headache. Yeah, all right, so uh, that's one advice. And next one would be the price. Let's say your friend's birthday party, whatever, and then you are thinking about to give a present, right? Yeah, and he might give me a present too. Let's say Lily is a birthday, and I'm gonna give it to Lily, yeah? Lily, there you go, my present. And Lily, Japanese girl, she might receive, yeah, nice, lion! Yeah, thank you! Okay, you know what she will do? Japanese lady, okay? She will check this online, and then check the price. How much was cost? And later, she give me back the similar amount of money, or like a equal, equivalent money, you know, like a similar value of present as return. Or if I have a birthday next month, she's going to give me the same amount of money or like a similar stuff. Let's say I give this $60. Actually, $60 is this one. Expensive, right? Anyway, so uh, $60, right? $60 she found out and then she give me similar amount of money or amount of money, but a uh, present. Do you understand this? So the money, 
the you spend should be same or similar of their standard. No, you know why I'm saying this? Because again, Japanese people they care a lot. Okay, so let's say, let's say, okay, let's say I give this to her. This, this is maybe let's say ten dollar, right? Ten dollar. Yeah, and if she give me, let's say hundred dollar present as a return, do I look good or bad? Bad, right? Yeah. So uh, they they want to avoid this kind of situation. So they try to give almost the same amount or something like this. Always. Mm. So when you give present, do not give them do not give them a headache too. So something that they can figure out the price, something that they can figure out the you know a value of the pre your present, and then let them do calculation and then let them do prepare for the return. All right. So I prefer always say that buy something a nice store, nice place like a Japanese cosmetic set, you know? It's easy to figure out. You should type it, she say, though, know, how much is this? Ah, 60 euro. Okay, then you buy something 60 euro. It's easy, right? Mm. Okay, Lily, one thing you did wrong, not wrong, but uh, uh, not, not preferred, was you made uh, something for her, homemade pancake, um, you know, pineapple cake. I know that me I eat though but some people they don't want to eat something that people made homemade stuff they got away of it you know why because Japanese people again they care too much seriously this is a better part of Japan they care too much including hygiene too yeah so let's say they love you Lily they trust you Lily however they're their friends but they might not a big fan of your making with your hands Seriously, I know some people they don't want to eat something that they made at home. I don't say all of them. Most of them they eat or they pretend they're eating. But some people they really reject. Therefore, if you make, let's say, rice bowl, okay? There you go, Santi. I made rice bowl cake for you. And I was like, oh my god, you made this rice bowl, onigiri, for me? And I instantly think about, did you wash your hands? Yes. You know what I mean? Therefore, this rice bowl is not a present or gift anymore. It is headache. Okay, so uh, try to avoid this, you know, so do not give a headache. Therefore, I always recommend buy something over there, buy something else, buy something. Yeah, buy something. Don't make. Okay, that's nice. It's just always okay. Let's talk about partner. When it comes to partner, about handmade, I think it's okay. Because, uh, you know, you guys sex and kiss, whatever, right? So you know everything, whatever, each other. So when you're cooking chocolate cake, whatever, pineapple cake, sounds nice. Mm. So, um, but some Japanese guy, they really care about this. I don't, I eat. If I have a girlfriend and then they make a cake for me, I, I would eat definitely. But some, some people know. I know. Some, but they hate. They make sure that, you know, are you, even though they're close friends, they are lovers, you know, they don't. And it's funny, yeah. So I highly recommend that buy something. If you find out he is very too hygiene, all right? Kirezuki, okay? Let's make sure that points. And about the partner, maybe similar stuff, you know, you can see similar things about the friends. But I would say, do not start high, you know? This is kind of swerving, you know, kind of uh, off topic, but when you give something to a partner, yeah? Don't start high, okay? I always said this. Do not start, do not give the present, like expensive one first. Give something like a flower first. It's good, better. Because uh, when you, let's say you're a guy and you're meeting a Japanese girl, right? If you're giving that like expensive bag or expensive present in initially, okay, beginning, they simply expect more if you have relationship, okay? If you are friends, they don't expect that kind of stuff, right? Hey, Santi, last time you gave me $10 lion, next next time you gave me a $20 tiger. They don't say that. But if when it comes to a partner, Japanese boyfriend, girlfriends, they slightly expect same amount of value last time or more. I think that's natural, right? Therefore, do not raise a bar too high quickly, okay? Start from something flower or like a small gesture, you know what I mean? That's better. So I always tell my friend that uh, buy flower, buy rose, you know, just one rose. And next time two rose, 
double, three, <laughs> seven, three rows, seriously. <laughs> That's how it goes, you know, because they usually expect a bit more, I guess, when it comes to lady, I think, you know. Again, they care about small stuff, you know. If you give something to her, she will check the price. Yeah, most of the Japanese lady would do, unconsciously. It's kind of scary, but that's how I feel. Yeah. If Japanese girl watching this, let me know what you think. Anyway, so that's it. All right. Let's recap. All right. Looks is important. Looks, yeah. And also think about the person after you, they receive. They have to bring back home, right? And then paperback is better. And the better paperback is far better, right? And also, box looks weight so important. Big and uh, heavy it could be nice too. Yeah, and avoid tangible. Right, something intangible is better. Concert ticket would be good too. Uh, we have to go though. But yeah, something like a gift ticket better. Gift ticket is good. Yeah, something like Amazon ticket. You know, you can shop in Amazon like this, or something you can eat, so they can pretend they ate even they hate. You know, do not give lion, all right? So uh, that's it. Well, of course, there are many exceptions, and then also there are many, yeah, like uh, cases. So I cannot that def de uh, definitely say that, but that's my general uh, idea I want to share with you. What do you think, lady? Let me know. And then um, please subscribe. And next video will be about business occasion. Okay. See you then. Bye.